Hey guys, this is Cowie from the corner. You ever feel stuck? You ever feel like you, you can't move? Like your, your life is just in this ball and everything's moving around you, right? I understand. I understand. This is the deal. It's where you're positioned, right? So if you position yourself in a pile of crap, then... You really can't change the crap, but you can change your actual location. You can reposition yourself. You can change your location. Or, this is another thing people don't realize, that you can clean up where you belong. It may You may already be where you're supposed to be, but you won't take the time out to clean it, to make it look better, to live and enjoy where you are right now. So that you can be the location. Do you understand? We tend to think that because we act a certain way, if I act out, then the world around me is supposed to change. If if I'm if I say um, I'm not happy or uh, sad on my profile or, or or Instagram or Facebook page, that's supposed to tell the world to change for me. That's where you're wrong. That's where we're wrong. Okay? I, I did it. All right? Like, let's take something very simple. It's hot in the house. And it's cold outside. If I don't want to be hot anymore, I can go outside. I can readjust myself and my temperature to change. Instead of... Let me change the thermostat of the whole house for me, not realizing that it's affecting one, two, three, four, five, six, or 70 people in the building because I'm that selfish. We, if you really want to change, if you really want to step out of where you are and who you are, do it. Okay? Do it. Stop waiting for somebody else to close your door. Stop waiting for somebody else to change your mind. Stop waiting for someone else to deliver your decisions for yourself so you can blame them in the future. Stop doing it. Look at your future and say, look, what are we going to do together? How are we going to make the decision for us? And stop putting your, your your words out on social media, asking people like, what do you guys think? Do you know how many opinions you get from that? How many angry people, a bitter people? So I suggest you do your research and increase your knowledge on where you want to be. If I want to be outside and it's hot inside, then let me increase my knowledge of what's going on outside. Is it cold out there? Is it 50 degrees out there? Is it 60 degrees out there? Can I even handle being outside right now in my life? Right? Sorry. But well, we have to stop complaining. Stop complaining about where you are in life. If you don't want to change your location in life, Trust me, someone will change it for you. Life will change it for you. There's this thing called the pen. The pen will change it for you. Don't wait for somebody else to make you who you are. Figure out who you want to be, what you want to do. Know your promise and then run for it like oxygen, man. This is the key. You know... I'll tell you one thing I did. I work. I was working in the hospital, and uh, I was working in the hospital, and end up losing my job. Right? Crazy thing about how life changes you and people changing you. So my boss calls me in and says, "Hey, we gotta let you go. No big deal." I was hurt. Like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? What do I? But. The thing was, during that time while I was working, I never got settled there. I never got settled somewhere I wasn't supposed to be. I kept thinking and strategizing on how to get to a place where I wanted to be, doing what I wanted to do, researching things that made me feel good at being alive and moving forward in my career. Didn't, I'm just gonna tell you, I, I didn't make 
the perfect decisions, but I made a decision. I made decisions. I actually did the work. So I challenge you guys, see, because I loved my job. I really did love what I did in the hospital. I loved doing, uh, doing cardiac workups and things like that. I was really good at it. But when I was, when I lost my job, that very next day, I opened up a trucking company. Not long after that, I went to IT school. A little bit after that, I, I reached out and grabbed my project manager certification, PMP. <clears throat> a few years after that, I lost my father, lost my marriage. And now, after all of the things that I had and I lost, now I'm able to sit in front of people like you, like myself, the people that just feel like they can't make it sometimes. I'm able to stand here and say, you know what? I've been down, 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 and up. I've been down, up, down, up, down, up, and up. No matter how down you go, Remember, people, you must get up. Sometimes people won't help you up. There won't be anybody there to help you up. And you have to bend the knee and push those legs up. You have to think about yourself. Push yourself. My goal, I push myself with the goal of keeping humanity alive. With the goal of of my children seeing that their father pushed for humanity and survival of other people's mentality. And maybe if my children or their friends or my grandchildren fall back and, and they can't handle life, they can pull up one of these videos and say, you know what? Granddad showed us. He showed us how to do it. He told us about it. He, he, he told us about how, you know, we have to we have to keep fighting. He told us about having to change your location if you want to be something different. I mean, hell, why go to trucking school if you're trying to be a, a, a pilot? Change your location and go to pilot school. I know it seems so easily said than done, but we have to get up and do things. When you move in a direction of what you want, do you know what that gives you? Is it, like if you say, I'm going to have faith to pursue what I really want to pursue. When you move forward, do you know the little pieces of hope that you get? Every single time you get little bits and pieces of hope that drive you forward. And let me tell you what happens. As you drive forward in what you want to do, your goals, your dreams, somebody with those same dreams gets hope. Somebody with, somebody with different dreams that said, I didn't want to get up this morning at four o'clock. I didn't want to do what it takes to get my dreams or have my dreams come true. I don't want to get up to improve my relationship. I don't want to get up to improve my marriage. I don't want to get up to improve the relationship with my children. I don't want to get up to, to get my job early and be better at what I do. I don't want to get up and be a better me. Then you provide hope for those people. Many times I don't want to get up and be a better me. Many days I'm up being a better me. And for some reason I don't want to continue being a better me so what I do is I change my mental location I will not be mentally stuck in, in ignorance and, 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 and depravity and stupidity I will not stay there mentally I will change my positioning I will change my location and change to be something better, bigger, stronger and be hope for some other person so I challenge you today, people, change your location of who you are, change your mental location and your path of, of things that you really want, that you desire and go after it and be hope for yourself and somebody else. Much life, much love.